Hello everyone, welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial series. I'm going to show you now how to make a minimap very quickly. Or, well, just yes, so to start with, we want to place the texture here, for example, okay, anywhere in the, in the HUD that will draw the, the result from another camera. So how do we do that? It's pretty simple actually and with Unreal Engine 4 it's still simpler. I'm going to make a new texture but this special texture called a render target. So let's name it T minimap. Okay, this type of textures well are used to basically draw what's on screen or or to actually be manipulated more easily and basically we can just drop the content of a camera in here so that's what we're going to try to do okay I the size if you think this is small it, it really isn't that small you should take into consideration that if you're drawing twice with another camera then you're going to need a lot more of resources so try to keep this as small as you can and of course try to not lose quality but the bigger you make it the more you're going to be rendering to it this is going to be updated every frame usually so maybe it's a bit too much and well let's go with We'll, what else do we need? We need a HUD to display this and well maybe you have your own HUD, maybe no, we don't have a HUD here. To to set a new HUD you go to the wall settings which are here, you can display it here. And in the game mode you choose your game mode in case you don't have one you can create a new one. And basically the game mode will set the default pawn class we said my character here is the default character for this for this uh, template the player controller game state and what we're going to do now is a HUD we don't have a HUD so we're going to create it also uh, a HUD is just another blueprint okay so we're going to create a blueprint and based on the HUD class Okay. Mm, by the way, I recommend also, if you're new to this, that you actually check all the all the things you can create just just by looking at the names. You can then research what those things are supposed to be. You will learn a lot of, of basically all the capabilities of Unreal Engine 4, all, all the things that are already made for you so that if you want to make something maybe it's already halfway done you only have to to customize it so try to to get familiar with all the classes that already exist and okay so the blue, we have a blueprint we're going to call this a uh, tutorial HUD usually it's a good idea to name the things that you make for your game starting with your game name or at least the, the initials of your game so that well in the end you can just tutorial and see all the things you've made it's, it's not necessary it's just the way that that things are made for example in, in Unreal Engine 3 in, in UDK everything has UD something UD character so a UD character is an UT pawn, sorry, is an, an extension of the regular pawn but specific for for and real tournament games. Anyways, let's go with the HUD. And what we're going to do in the HUD is basically draw a texture, the texture that we just created. Okay, and so draw the HUD has this event event receive draw hot it creates an, an execution line and it tells you the size of the hut it's very useful if you want to 
well to fit things to the screen for for the positions and stuff um, okay and then what we want to do is draw the texture that was pretty simple here yeah. it was simple would be enough but let's let's go with this one the one I, I've been using for now so we received the event we draw the texture can't be simpler the target is self so object had target so this had and what we want to draw is the minimap texture that we just created the render target in position 20 20 and the screen width was 256 but let's not make it too too high let's make it 28 since that's kind of the map size and these two uh, the UVs and U width U height mean which part of the texture you want to get so in our case we want to get from 0 0 to 1 1 so from U the the horizontal part we start from the top left corner let's let's say this is the texture we start from the top left corner uh, no, we have it here this would be 0 0 and this is 1 1 if for some reason we only want to display this area we could go and say well uh, 0 0.3 it, it would start from 0 0.3 and finish in, in 0 0.8 or something but these numbers can be calculated always by saying since the size x is 256 you could say that if you want it to be halfway or in position 128 then you would do just this and it would tell you 128 divided by 256 will give you 0 0.5 and that would be where you would put the the this decimal here this decimal number so even though it requires a number from 0 to 1 it's very easy to tell it exactly which which pixel you want to to draw it's very useful for other things in the HUD that we will take later anyways today's HUD today's today not today this this tutorial is only for the minimap so we'll get going mm -mm -mm. sort of I talk too much about other things uh, so we have the tutorial HUD the blueprint what else do we need and now yes we need another blueprint that will be basically the camera it will have the camera uh, let's get an actor basically because we want to move it around the, around the screen tutorial uh, tutorial minimap capture so this will be the camera that takes the that draws to that texture to the texture here and let me see so basically we want the camera okay this will be the one recording the things to the texture and we want this is the key part scene capture 2d so this camera has a component well yeah has a component that has this our render target and it will capture every frame if you want maybe you only want to capture the first frame or you can of course activate this or disable it in in a blueprint somehow that's, that's not really relevant now so this green texture as soon as i i press play this camera will look at something and whatever it looks at will be drawn here so that's pretty nice and again sorry so we have this we drop it in the scene this is what it's what it what you can see so since this is a 2d platformer the minimap won't be on top so oh by the way i'm pressing shift when you move the the arrows will take the whole camera with you if you don't press shift while you drag it it does this but 
most of the times I think you would, you would want to do this in case you, you want to take it really far and I will explain all of these things on how to move around the, the engine around the, the viewport in another tutorial I haven't, haven't gotten to it yet sorry so this is what the camera is saying luckily we can see it real time thank you epic this is a mini map we don't want we don't want to target this we just want to target the, the this area here okay and yeah i think that's it for this and what else do we need oh in the world settings we need to tell our our game mode to use our new hat tutorial hat and do you think this will work the first try no it's not gonna work oh it is working but it's it's a bit translucent so let's go back to the texture hat uh, damn it not here let's go back to the here, uh, now the tutorial had component the graph. It's it's translucent here. We don't want it to be translucent. Thank you. I mean, you can make a translucent one, of course, but for our simple tutorial, opaque will be enough. So this is the actual texture. How it has changed. It doesn't clear when you when you finish playing maybe you will want to do that for some reason but we don't really want to because we want to use the, the map of course and play and there you have it mini map this guy has particles coming out of his head because well that's what I did in, in the previous tutorial and I continue the continue this so as you can see also it's kind of a bit it's not the minimap doesn't seem to have the right um, size it's a bit squished basically because we we're capturing 256 by 256 and however we're only we're only drawing well in a in a white screen and type of minimap so yeah so that's a minimap that was easy hope you enjoy it don't forget to, to like and subscribe and, and all that, that stuff and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you